Hey guys, it's Nightflame, and today guys, I will be reviewing Spider-Burst number one. Um, so yeah, let's get into this review guys. This issue is written by Mike Costa and art by Andre Araujo. So the comic opens up with this cool dialogue by Spider-Gwen. She talks about how, you know, she really doesn't remember what's hap what's been happening to her. She doesn't, you know, know what's happened to her. Like, she's confused. She feels like she's missing a part of her life. And, uh... She kind of like battles these people who are trying to steal a body from the cemetery. And at the end, uh, when she does that, she ends up finding out that they, you know, um, they weren't trying, trying to steal her body, but in the same cemetery, she was buried there. Like, she's buried next to her dad. So, um, she doesn't know what's happening. She's confused. You know, she feels like she's missing some part of her life and she really doesn't know why she's dead here, but she's really alive. Anyways, we kind of get the same introduction, but with other characters. We see Spider-Man UK here uh, teaming up with Aranya, and uh, they team up also with Spider-Man India. Uh, they battle these thugs, and, um, you know, when they meet each other, they're like, oh, I thought we met each other. You know, you know, I think we met each other before, but I'm really not sure. Like, I remember you, but I'm not sure. So, we see that something has been happening. Like, they have this sort of amnesia here you know because they met each other recently in spider-verse but they don't remember that so um i'm gonna tell you in the bear dig what i think is happening but anyways that happens between them and um after that it's all spider gwen so spider gwen we end up finding out that norman osborne is in this domain as well spider gwen works for him and um you know she ends up basically you know trying to figure out in, in the in the skyscraper she's working in, she finds out that there is this room that only a certain amount of people go. And she's basically, you know, very curious about it. So one day she dresses up as Spider-Gwen and she goes in and she ends up finding out that the person who is trapped in that, you know, secret office, I guess, is none other than Spider-Ham. And Spider-Ham is there. He's being kind of like quarantined i guess they're doing tests on him and when spider gwen turns around she ends up finding norman osborne there so yeah what did i think about this issue um like i said i love the writing the writing was spot on it was really interesting um uh, really you know great things that uh my costa made the characters say but one thing that I really was disappointed by was this art. I think, you know, like the way Andrea Araujo does the art, the eyes, you know, I just felt, you know, he doesn't realistic, but I did not like the art. Um, not a big fan of it. But anyways, I like this whole concept that this Secret Wars tie-in gave and is that maybe all the characters have amnesia or they're, you know, they're pulled from their respective, you know, world but they don't know what they're doing. They're kind of like chess pieces. And in this issue, you know, we see that Spider-Gwen does not remember her band. She knows that she may have, you know, she thinks that she may have had a band. She doesn't really know anything, though. The same as Spider-Man India. You know, he really should be acquainted with um, Spider-Man UK and Aranya, Anya. But um, he doesn't remember them, and they don't remember him. So something has been happening. I'm interested to see... As Secret Wars goes on, you know, what revelations is going to give. But yeah, I was really interested by this. And I gave Spider-Verse number one. I gave um, the, an 8 out of 10. Really enjoyable, really great story. But like I said, art-wise, it wasn't my thing. So Spider-Verse number one, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.